Rocket Lab, with its Electron rocket, has undeniably transformed the landscape of space launch services, particularly for small satellite missions. Its innovative approach to rocket design, manufacturing, and operations has not only challenged but also reshaped traditional norms within the rocket industry. While the term humiliation may carry strong connotations, Rocket Lab's disruptive impact on the industry cannot be understated. This introduction will delve into the factors contributing to Rocket Lab's rise and its implications for the broader rocket industry. Welcome back to our channel. This is Cosmic Era. Rocket Lab USA, Inc. is a publicly traded aerospace manufacturer and launch service provider that operates and launches lightweight electron orbital rockets used to provide dedicated launch services for small satellites. The company plans to build a larger neutron rocket as early as 2024. Electron rockets have launched 44 times from either Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand or at the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in Wallops Island, Virginia, United States. Electron is a two-stage small lift launch vehicle built and operated by Rocket Lab. The rocket has been launched to orbit 43 times with 39 successes and four failures. A suborbital version of the rocket, HASTY, has been successfully launched one time. The four-of-a-kind mission for Spire's customer North Star successfully launched from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket deployed four space situational awareness SSA satellites to a 530 kilometers circular Earth orbit, where the satellites, built and operated by Spire, will monitor near-Earth objects from space to provide timely and precise information for space object detection, tracking, orbit determination, collision avoidance, navigation, and proximity alerts. The mission was Rocket Lab's 43rd electron launch overall, bringing the company's record of successfully deployed satellites to 176. The mission was the first of a busy launch year for Rocket Lab, with the company scheduled to launch more in 2024 than any previous year since the company began missions in 2017. The mission also resulted in the successful return of the rocket's first stage after launch as part of Rocket Lab's plan to evolve Electrum into a reusable rocket. After launch and stage separation, Electrum's booster made its way back to Earth under a parachute and splashed down in the Pacific Ocean at approximately 17 minutes post-liftoff. Rocket Lab's recovery operations are currently underway to retrieve the stage and bring it back to the company's production complex for a post-launch review and analysis before proceeding to one of the program's final tasks, reusing a previously launched first stage on a future mission. Rocket Lab founder and CEO Peter Beck says, The success of today's mission to deliver Spire and North Star to orbit and the completion of our secondary mission to return Electron to Earth after launch has been a fantastic start of what is set to be Rocket Lab's busiest year ever. We have more missions booked in 2024 than we've ever scheduled before, and it is a real privilege to continue to deliver small launch reliability for our satellite customers on advanced missions like these and for all the missions to come in 2024. Furthermore, the pursuit of the stars is no longer a dream of the few, the bold race led by pioneering giants. Rocket Lab's game-changing move is shrouded in mystery igniting speculation and wonder about its potential impact on the future of space exploration. The specifics of Rocket Lab's mission remain shrouded in secrecy, fueling speculation and intrigue. Rocket Lab's contract could potentially disrupt the industry's balance, sparking a new era of innovation and competition. Blue Origin's ambition to revolutionize commercial space travel and lunar exploration is actively shaping the future of space exploration. SpaceX's relentless innovation and strategic vision have revolutionized space technology, making space more accessible and shaping the future of space exploration. Rocket Lab is rapidly emerging as a key player in space exploration, focusing on small satellite launches and space systems, aiming to democratize access to space. How we forget the two famous names of rocket industry Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, reaction and reviews on the Rocket Lab new launch Electron rocket where Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, might view Rocket Lab's successes as validation of the growing demand for small satellite launches and the increasing competitiveness of the space industry. Musk has often emphasized the importance of advancing space technology and reducing the cost of access to space, so he might see Rocket Lab's achievements as contributing to these goals. However, Musk is also known for his competitive spirit, so he may see Rocket Lab as a challenger in the market. Jeff Bezos, founder of Blue Origin, might similarly see Rocket Lab's successes as indicative of the expanding opportunities in space commercialization. Bezos has expressed his vision of millions of people living and working in space, so he could view Rocket Lab's launches as furthering this vision by enabling more frequent and affordable access to space, 
Like Musk, Bezos may also recognize Rocket Lab as a competitor in certain segments of the launch market. Overall, while Musk and Bezos may have different perspectives and reactions to Rocket Lab's new launches, they would likely acknowledge the significance of these achievements in advancing space technology and opening up new possibilities for exploration and commerce beyond Earth. Humiliating the SpaceX and Blue Origin while Rocket Lab's Electron rocket offers affordable and dedicated launches for small satellites, SpaceX and Blue Origin cater to a broader range of payloads and missions including crewed missions, heavy satellite deployments and even lunar and interplanetary exploration. Rather than viewing Rocket Lab's success as a humiliation of SpaceX and Blue Origin, it's more accurate to see it as a testament to the diversity and dynamism of the commercial space industry, where multiple companies can thrive by addressing different segments of the market with innovative solutions. Moreover, Rocket Lab has certainly made significant strides in the small satellite launch industry with their Electron rocket. They've achieved numerous successful launches and have focused on providing affordable and reliable access to space for small payloads. While humiliating might be a strong word, they have certainly challenged traditional approaches in the rocket industry and have shown that smaller and more agile companies can compete and innovate effectively. Time will tell if Rocket Lab can directly challenge SpaceX's dominance in the industry, but it's clear that Musk's company will soon face some serious competition. At the same time, SpaceX will continue to innovate and push the envelope of what's possible in its attempt to stay ahead. It's difficult to predict the outcome, but the future of spaceflight will be anything but bland. Conclusion as we conclude that while it's tempting to frame Rocket Lab's success as a humiliation of the entire rocket industry, it's more accurate to view it as a testament to the power of innovation and agility within the aerospace sector. Rocket Lab's Electron rocket has indeed disrupted the traditional paradigm of satellite launches by offering a cost-effective and reliable solution specifically tailored for small payloads. By leveraging modern manufacturing techniques, streamlined operations, and responsive customer service, Rocket Lab has carved out a niche for itself in the increasingly competitive space launch market. However, it's essential to recognize that Rocket Lab's success does not diminish the achievements of established players in the rocket industry. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and United Launch Alliance continue to push the boundaries of space exploration with their own advancements in rocket technology and launch capabilities. Rather than humiliation, Rocket Lab's accomplishments serve as a catalyst for innovation and competition within the industry, driving all players to continuously improve and adapt to the evolving demands of the space market.